Off the Pacific coast of Northern California, amongst the heavily wooded mountain ranges and massive redwood trees dissected by Highway 101, lies a 10,000 square mile area known throughout the world as being the center of the outdoor marijuana cultivation universe, the Emerald Triangle. Made up of Humboldt County, Mendocino County, and Trinity County, the Emerald Triangle is estimated to profit one billion a year from this unofficial major crop. Cannabis farming here is a way of life, and many say everyone in the region is either directly or indirectly reliant on the marijuana business. A business which has been hurting in the last few years due to the popularity of indoor grown weed. But as things become more legal, and growers have been able to move their crops out of the shade and into full sun, a resurgence in potency and popularity has begun. It is here where the world's largest competition specifically dedicated to outdoor organic cannabis is held, the Emerald Cup. The Emerald Cup, well, everybody knows it's the only 100% organic outdoor cannabis competition in the world. And uh, right here in, in Humboldt County, it's our culture. There's an old saying that uh, logging and fishing are dead and Humboldt County's gone to pot. <laughs> it's true. My name is Tim Blake and I'm the producer of the Emerald Cup. We're in Garberville today, uh, right down the road from the Teal Community Center in Redway. We're up in Humboldt, California. Uh, we're putting on the Emerald Cup out at the Mateel today. We do it every year in December after the fall harvest to celebrate the incoming cannabis crop. Well, this is our ninth year. We started down at Area 101, my place down in Mendocino on the Mendo-Humboldt line. Uh, I got a campground, a little event center there. And uh, it was really uh, started with the celebration of a true fall harvest. And it was an all-night party. We got together and did a friendly competition and uh, partied all night at my place. That's evolved over the years to where now we have two speaker stages. We have vendors coming in. We have sponsors with Weed Maps and Skunk Magazine and SC Labs and a number of others. And it's really morphed into a public event where it used to be really more of a private gathering in the first couple of years. We started with from 23 entries. We're up to 202. We include the concentrates and super concentrates. We do awards for CBD and all the highest cannabinoid levels. We have six of those awards. The winners are going to get trophies. Banjo is making them this year. He's one of the top glass blowers in the world. Skunk generously donated uh, all expense paid for two to their cannabis-friendly resort in Jamaica, including airfare. So it's really evolved from a, you know, a nice little friendly gathering to where it's a pretty big public event. Um, my name is Alec Dixon. I'm one of the co-founders and directors of SC Laboratories and we're up here doing cannabinoid profiling for the 2012 Emerald Cup. For the past three years, you know, we, we have uh, you know, partnered with the Emerald Cup and have done the uh, potency testing on um, the flowers and, uh, and now this year the concentrates. We primarily use high performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, to analyze medicinal cannabis. We analyze for THC, THCA, CBD, CBDA, and CBN. Indoor grown herb is amazing, but in no way can mimic the sun. Outdoor grown cannabis that is in its optimal growing condition, utilizing the full rays of the sun, is able to get unique spectrums of light, as well as bringing out unique terpenes in cannabis that metal halide bulbs and high pressure sodium bulbs can't really achieve. I'm Fuzzy. I'm Pearl. And we're judges at the Emerald Cup. We uh, rate each entry on four categories, um, looks, fragrance, flavor, and effects, with effects being worth double the points. Each judge independently <laughs> reviews each sample and then makes a list of what they feel the top ten should be. My name is Kevin Jodry. I'm a judge and a speaker at this year's Emerald Cup. You make your initial judgments and then you go back and take a look at things you thought were interesting and then you're able to start to say, hey, I can see where I can rank these according. It's tough to be just pure numeric because sometimes it's a combination of the effects that really put it together. So you really want to understand the variety as well as you can before you make your final comment on it. Then we have a meeting and we compare our top 10 lists for uh, frequency of entries and any entry appearing on at least two lists makes the next round. Typically when you smoke cannabis, you're, you're smoking it to enjoy it for a specific, but 
you're not having to evaluate it so heavily. I'm telling you, it was the hardest job I've had in a long time, was to subjectively, objectively test this many strains. <laughs> hey, my name is Derek, and um, I'm contestant number 114 and 115 at this year's Emerald Cup. Well, I've been entering for the last four years, and uh, the first year I entered in 2008, I took first place with a strain pineapple, and I called it In the Pines. The second year, I took third place with that same strain. And uh, the third year, I took third place again with that same strain. And then last year, I took first place with a strain called Green Crack. And then this year, I entered the Green Crack and the Pineapple. It's not the money, it's not the prize. I mean, you know, um, you know, uh, it would be really just the knowledge of knowing that my product is still up near the top, man. You know, I just want to stay up there, I guess. You know, I found something that I'm really good at and I've just been trying to stay at it, you know, as best as long as I can, you know. My name is Lawrence Rango. I'm entry number 66 and 67, and I was also a speaker on a panel of seed breeding. I entered the cup because I wanted to validate what I've been doing. Everyone you know comes by and says you have the best smokes. Well, you put it in there every year and you try to get the best smoke, you know, and you're just like, argh, you never get in the top 10 ever. So it's kind of frustrating. I entered um, the blueberry cheese, which is a strain I made last year, just because it was a really good strain. It tested out really nice. Really good sweet metal smoke that didn't burn out of the way out. It was really perfect. And then I entered this stuff called um, OG Cheese Dog, which is OG crossed with the cheese and crossed again with the chem dog that I have. Those are my own creations. What do you think makes a winning strain? The taste, the high, the way it smells. It, you know, the, the flavonoids and the terrapines, you know, they really. That's part of it too, because you smell them when you're breaking it up and you're twisting it and then you pop a dry toke of it and you're like, oh man. That's what I think is a really good contender and that's what we try to shoot for every year. My name is T. Beasel. I'm contestant number two in Concentrates and contestant number four in Super Concentrates. I'm from Mendocino County, born and raised. I'm actually a third generation cannabis farmer. Well, I've been making hash for, let's say, 10, 11 years now. In 2010, I decided to enter the competition because a few people were saying, you know, you make really good stuff, you should enter, enter, enter. And I decided to enter, and I took first and second place. This year, they have it back, plus a super concentrate category. So I decided to enter both of them. Well, the first concentrate is uh, entry number two. It's a sour diesel, and it's a uh, bubble hash, ice and water. and. Um, the entry number four, same thing, you know, like it's a very great concert. In fact, that was one of the entries right there that you filmed, that glossy stuff, so. The hash game is different than growing. Growing is a basic thing, you know, whether you do hydro, indoor, outdoor, organic, non-organic, you know, growing is basically the same because you're growing a plant, just like growing tomatoes or anything else. But hash, hash is a process. It's highly regarded. It has to be like handed and given down respectfully to people that earn it, you know. It's not just like a, something that should just be given out. And especially with Super Concentrate, because it's very dangerous. Um, my name is Wheezy. Uh, I'm actually on the DAB panel for the 2012 Emerald Cup up here in Humboldt. I think the Emerald Cup is being real, is really good for the Concentrate scene because it's showing a lot of people up here in Mendo, in Humboldt counties, that, that there is this scene going on and there's a lot more going on than, than what they're seeing even up here. A lot more. And like people are trying stuff that are ours, mine, other people that I'm seeing over at these booths, and they're going, wow, wow, I haven't had nothing taste like that. Wow, I haven't, I haven't even seen nothing like that. Because the, the, the movement down in LA, in Colorado, and all that stuff, it is crazy. It's, it's a big movement. Up here, it seems like it's not as big as, you know, most people would think it would be. You know, and there's, I mean, obviously they're, they're more organic, so they want to do a lot more water, which I agree with. I think solventless is, is an awesome way to go. Um, but are, I mean, is it done right? I know a couple people that do it right as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? The first place winner in the Concentrate Contest is number two. I should have known. Defend the championship, repeat. I tell you what, I'm going to be here for hours, so if y'all like to smoke hash, come find me. Number three, this is big. This is big, we're talking top three. Okay, 
It had to be. It's number 114, In the Pines. Bring it on, Derek. One more time. Grown from a clone. Epic red hairs, excellent trim. Good fill smoke that's nice and easy. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> I, I've, I've been in the top three for the last five years. So. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Who's going to Jamaica? Number one this year, 2012 Emerald Cup, right here, goes to number 47. Kem Dog. Oh my God. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. This is a new Kem Dog creation by our new company, Aficionado Seeds. It's a cross of the Kem Dog number four and the Star Dog. Dude, I put my heart every day at least five hours into each plant. This is to Leightonville, man. This is not my cut. This is for Leightonville. I can't believe it, man. First place, Emerald Cup. I won with entry number 47. It was a one-of-a-kind chem dog cross my new company just came out with. It's called Fishing Out of Seeds. We're a boutique seed company. It's dedicated to Leightonville. That's where the strains come from. We specialize in Emerald Triangle, Heirloom, and Elite strains. I can't believe it, man. I got first place in the concentrate category. It's actually a repeat, and I'm ecstatic that a panel of judges and my peers have once again decided that I've made the best concentrate in the state of California. Uh, I won third place with the pineapple strain they called In the Pines, and uh, and I'm just so absolutely. <laughs> You know, people ask why we do this cup, why oh, we haven't stopped it. You know, we don't make any money on this. It's a refusal to give in to our ability to express our freedoms and just have a good time and enjoy a moment. We're not criminals, we're all family people, people with children, people with jobs all over the place. There's so many different aspects of this medicine and it's been demonized and it's been put down and it's been made into something it's not. And uh, I really hope that everybody takes the time to really look deeper into it, give it a fair shot, and realize this is the greatest healing medicine on the planet, and we should all have access to it freely. <laughs>